Hi, this is Janelle, and I'm here today for a video on Papercraft Planet for a card that I put on the gallery a couple of weeks ago that has these painted clouds on it. I had a lot of um, comments that people would like to know how to do this. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is secure this down to the um, paper. And as you notice from my sample, I've got a, um, a, a nice even edge around here. And basically what I did was I used my um, see-through ruler and um, just used one of the measurements and uh, used my pencil all the way around the edges for um, a guide. And then the other um, technique that I did is that I'll be using a paper towel for later while I paint, but I put my masking tape on here just to catch some of the fibers um, so that the tape doesn't stick uh, to the paper and tear it when I get ready to take it off. So I'll just put all of these down um, close to my pencil markings. And that way I'll have a border already done on the finished background paper. Um, I use this so that the, the paper is um, kept in one stationary space. When it gets wet, it'll uh, wrinkle, and when it dries, um, it can warp. So one of the things to do is to tape it down to a surface that will hold its form. Um, the thinner the paper, the more likely it'll go back to its original size. So what we're going to do next is prepare the background. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to show you um, the stencil. Now, some people may have um, a plastic stem stencil that is um, a cloud shape. I didn't, so what I did was I just hand drew my cloud shape and cut it out with some scissors. I just punctured a hole in the center and then went around from the inside and cut out the, the edges. And so that's my stencil. Um, as you can see, I've used it many times for this tutorial already. So hopefully this time will be a success. Okay, so now we're just gonna get all of our supplies close by. Uh, the first thing is to have that paper towel that we just used to take our tape off um, close by. Some water for our paint brushes. And I have a flat um, paintbrush that when it's wet, it has a very um, fine li uh, line tip to it. A stencil brush, which has some very hard bristles to it, and we're going to use it to stencil on our paint for the clouds. And of course, our three different colors of paint colors. Um, I have a light blue, white, and then ultramarine. And then we're going to be using a paper plate for our um, palette so that we can mix. So uh, here's some blue for our shadow, our light blue for the background, and then the, the bottom of the cloud, and then some white, of course, for our cloud. I'm going to set that up here for now. We're going to start with um, a wash. So we're going to use our flat brush, get it nice and wet. We're going to come in with our, um, our light blue. Just grab a little bit of the paint and get it um, even on the brush. You're going to go back and forth. It's not going to matter uh, if you get a dark or, or light covering, um, but you do want to start off with it lighter so you can add color if you need to. As you can see the paper starting to warp, um, wrinkle I should say. Okay, I'm back. I had a little bit of uh, video problems. Uh, while I was gone, I went ahead and um, dried this with my heat gun and there will be times where I'll stop my video and you shouldn't be able to notice, but I'm, I want this to go quickly for you. So um, we've already done our wash, and the next thing that we're going to do is um, grab our stencil and start adding our, 
our, uh, our clouds. So we're going to switch to the stencil brush. I'm going to get it just a little bit wet and start adding in some white. And I'll show you real quick. Um, I always grab a little bit and then I'll pull it off and get it all over on the tip of the brush so that it's even and I don't get huge blotches right away. And so then you're just going to start stippling or um, bouncing the brush on and off of the paper over your stencil. And it's okay if you're going to see some of the, um, the background text on this because we're going to be doing in, in layers and um, it will disappear here in a little bit. Um, then we're going to go ahead and do another one here. There's going to be an overlap, but that's all right. We're going to do a little trick to get that uh, to show up as, uh, as a layer here when we get to our shadowing. So I'm going to add my next one. And then um, there's always two sides to a template. But since this is wet, I'm going to dab it over here on my paper towel. See if I can get some of that paint off uh, because I don't want it to get into my sky portion of um, my background. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little corner here with my white again. This one, add that. And um, once you've gotten some of these layers going, you'll always start from the back and go to the, to the front. I'm doing all of mine at the same time for the sake of the video here. And so what we're going to do is um, we're going to go back over, add some more white to the tops of our of our clouds. Like that. And um, if you want, you can keep adding more white, stippling all along for that texture. Now I'm going to grab just a little bit of blue, mix it in with the white that's on the brush already. And then I'm going to go across the bottom here and just do a few random dots of this darker blue. And that's what's going to give that curved look to um, our our um, clouds. Sorry about that. And of course I'm going fast so I'm getting some lift off of the um, the paper here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dry this real quick and we'll come back and finish up our layers. Then I'll just come back in with my brush again. I might leave it at that for that one. I'll grab a little bit more paint and we'll come over to this one and put it across the bottom again. And this time I'm gonna drag it out and flick it out so that it, the paper absorbs just a little bit of the color, but I don't want it to stay for very long. Um, so I'll dab it up with my paper towel. And up here in this corner, I'm gonna just do a few spots here, dab it up. And um, now you can see when I layered um, these, they kind of look like it's all one piece. So we're going to use this same color and we're going to just barely add some to that top. Immediately go in with a clean piece of your uh, paper towel and pick it up and keep, you know, adding and subtracting it. You can add a little bit more of the light color to darken it up. And it's um, starting to look like it's actually behind this cloud here in the front. And that is how I made those painted clouds on my background paper.